Here are the tests on my 1966 unknown toilet. This isn't a Kilgore, a Case, a Briggs, or any of those other ones people are saying because there is no way that they would let this pass the quality inspection. So I'm thinking it's a Western. But anyway, it is set to the line of rust in the tank and it is using a regular style flush valve. So let's give it a flush and see how it does on tests. I usually try to get like all the dirt and debris and stuff out of the bowl, but it just keeps coming out of the rim, so there's not really much I can do about it. It seems to have a rather difficult time flushing. I hope it does well on the tests. This doesn't have any mineral buildup that I know of, but it does have a big bump in the opening of the trapway right about there under this part right here. Can't see it from the video, but it's there. I don't know if anything will catch on it or not, but I don't think so. Let's try a washcloth and see if it can pass. Sad thing is, I don't know, judging by that flush, but I think it'll do just fine. Okay, please tell me there is something stuck in the trapway because I did not just see this struggle on a washcloth. Or did I? So after the washcloth came out, I discovered this along with it. So that was also obstructing the trapway. Just forget that first test ever happened. Don't pay any attention to it. Let's see if it can take a washcloth without anything obstructing the trapway. That's a bit more like what I was expecting, or what I was hoping for. No more scrubbing pads stuck in the trapway, so it should do fine on the rest of the tests, hopefully. Now let's see if it can take a grocery bag. It should do alright. I think it might struggle, but considering how it did on the washcloth, the second time, because we don't talk about the first time, I think it'll do pretty well. Well, it struggled a lot, so I'm going to try that test again just to see if I have better luck next time. Before I test the bag again, one other thing I want to point out is that the siphon jet is not actually in the middle, so the water sort of swirls around like this. And one thing to tell all the toilet companies out there is expect any of your toilets could be a test subject. Make them all good. Don't make ones with misshapen trapways or messed up siphon jets or rim jets that aren't punched out all the way or any other problems. They need to just make them all work right and not have any of these issues. So now, after my little rant to the toilet manufacturers, let's see if it can take a bag again. It still struggled quite a bit, but at least it's clearing the dirt out of the rim. Now let's see if it can take the washcloth and the grocery bag together. I really don't have high hopes.
That is a hard clog. I don't think any amount of flushes could have taken that through and no amount of retries will make it pass. Now let's see if it can take a dish towel. Honestly, I think this could go either way. Either it could go up and around the sides or it could go down and out like it's supposed to. It looked like it actually took some effort to pull it off of here, took one end and took it straight through. So I'm going to try it again. I'm just going to lay it the other way this time. I don't know how it's going to go. It did quite well. Now let's see how it flushes with a clogged siphon jet. It was actually pretty hard to get that in there because there wasn't really much room to work around. That was interesting to see, but it didn't really accomplish anything. Now let's try a dirt test. I think this will be a little bit disappointing because when I was cleaning it out, I noticed a lot of the rim jets around the sides sort of point straight down and don't really go where they're supposed to. Kind of like a VHP, actually. Never thought about it, but this could be a VHP for all I know. Around the front could have been better. This little thing here, I don't know what it's doing there, but there's like a little bubble of water over that, and it's doing that thing that new toilets do. Around the back looks so not okay, actually. That's pretty bad. This side, this side is sad. I mean, this toilet is totally usable, but the bull rinse is really not that good. I've seen much better than this. And it's really a bit disappointing. Although I don't know how much these toilet cost, so maybe it was worth the money, maybe it wasn't. But I'm a little bit disappointed to see how badly it did. Well, that is about all for these tests, so if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.